The Senate Foreign Relations Committee will come to order. The Deputy Secretary of State is one of the most critical posts in the Department. As we advance the United States leadership and address multiple challenges and crises around the world, the State Department's role is more important than ever. We must elevate our ability to compete with China while establishing strategic lines of coordination. Ukraine remains under assault almost two years after Putin's illegal invasion. And exactly two months ago, Hamas terrorists launched a brutal attack on Israel. This conflict endangers the security of the entire region and has made it already acute humanitarian situation in Gaza much worse. These and other challenges require strategic, consistent, and creative diplomacy. That is why it is critical that we fill this role as quickly as we can. I believe that America's foreign policy to serve our national interests, it must be driven by our values, promoting democracy and good governance, fighting corruption, defending human rights. These must be at the core of our agenda as we engage in the global stage. Mr. Campbell, if confirmed, I hope you will work to make sure that these values are front and center. I have enormous respect for the work of our diplomats and civil servants that they do every day. We must make sure the Department has the support and resources it needs to advance U.S. interests and keep crisis from expanding. Food insecurity, severe natural disasters, and extreme heat make worse by climate crisis multiply the threats facing the globe. Humanitarian crises have devastated Haiti, Burma, Syria, Yemen, and Sudan. In Africa, there have been seven coups in the Sahel and West Africa in the past three years, in addition to coups in Sudan and Gambon. Instability now stretches across the continent from the Red Sea to the Atlantic. In our hemisphere, illicit fent fentanyl trafficking and irregular migration affect cities and communities in nearly every state in America. The demise of democratic governance and widespread human rights abuses in Venezuela and Haiti require increased attention. At the same time, the United States must not only respond to global crises, but must lead with a proactive agenda. Whether it is nurturing our alliance with our NATO and G7 partners, promoting an agenda for economic growth, advancing solutions to climate change, or improving global health, the Department of State must be operating at full capacity to tackle these challenges. That means keeping morale up while upholding the traditions of providing space for constructive dissent within the Department. It means fully staffing our mission in Africa and making sure ambassadorial nominees have the relevant regional experience to lead effectively. It means being ambitious and consistent with our resourcing. It means making sure the Department makes notable progress on diversity, equity, and inclusion from every bureau to every post. It means getting our diplomats and civil servants the training and skills to address climate, global health, cyber, economics, and the 21st century security challenges. Mr. Campbell, there is no shortage of challenges awaiting you in this post. So I want to thank you for your willingness to serve. I want to thank your family for supporting you in this challenge. And I look forward to hearing your plans for carrying out this role, if confirmed, and helping lead the Department to confront the challenges ahead. With that, I yield to the distinguished ranking member, Senator Risch.